That inevitable Victorian thing by E.K. Johnston, teenager Victoria Margaret is the crowned princess of England at a time somewhat in the future. She has bargained with her parents, the king and queen, for one summer away before she has to choose someone to marry. In this slightly futuristic time, a church-sanctioned computer performs gene-matching technology and offers individuals their ideal match. Victoria Margaret has just begun the selection process, but she is somewhat puzzled by her results. She opts to spend her summer away in Toronto, posing as a commoner. She stays with family friends who can protect her secret identity as the crown princess. There, in Toronto, she attends a number of coming out balls with her new friend, Helena. August is Helena's best friend, and even though the two plan to marry, Helena and Victoria Margaret secretly begin talk talking to suitors online. Then, August gets in over his head at his family business where he is the heir apparent to a shipping fortune. This causes significant trouble and unexpected trouble for all three characters, and the resolution is both unexpected and compassionate. That inevitable Victorian thing is a highly original story that is both charming and captivating. It's about hidden identities and family commitments. I've not read anything else quite like it, and I rather enjoyed it. If you liked Kiera Cass's The Selection series, or if you enjoy the Netflix series The Crown, you will likely be easily drawn into this very enjoyable novel called That Inevitable Victorian Thing by E.K. Johnston.